Hey guys, welcome back to Bumby TV. Guys, today we're checking out an amazing scholar. Right, we're checking out Mufti Meg. We're talking about simple step for a happy home. The reason why I love checking out this video is because I feel he is really, really educated. Like he's smart. Like he talks. Uh, I feel he's one of the people that talk about religion without actually. I won't say hating on other religion, but like when he talks, he focus on Islam. Like that is just beautiful that he's able to prove his points from his book and not trying to shade other books. And he's just trying to prove his like this is a gift he has, guys. And I love it. I have respect for him because I see him as someone that he preach love. Like if you listen to a message, like you see love, he's, he he preaches like, he tries to teach you the fact that you're supposed to have this personal connection with God. It's supposed to be personal, you and God. And he's someone that I love checking out because I feel blessed when I check him out. Guys, let's just get straight into this. So my brothers and sisters, that happiness in the home, that happy home, that happy family, it comes when we realize and understand that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala should be first. In our dress code, improve it. Ask yourself, is this pleasing to my maker? If it is, mashallah, Allah will please you today, tomorrow, the next day. And it's not going to be easy. You know, when Allah says, you do this, you'll get paradise. That thing cannot be such a simple task. It's going to be quite tough. Because what you're getting in return is huge. Very big. You know, Allah kept five salah a day. It is amazing. It is unique. Subhanallah. The fajr that you have is at a time when sometimes, and some of the other prayers, a time when others might say, hey, it's a little bit awkward, you know. Astaghfirullah. It's not awkward. It's Allah. You really want Jannah. You've got to pay a bit. If I offered you, Subhanallah, an amount of money for a job, we would do it. Depending on how big the amount is. Allah is offering you something that is bigger than anything you can imagine. And you can't even just get up, pray and go back to sleep if you really want. Do that. For Allah, see your family, see your home becoming a happy home. Because you put Allah at the beginning. You, then, the second part of the narration, the one was develop your relationship with Allah. The other one was your character and conduct. Because that Allah has... Created everything else, your relationship with all those things, watch it, develop it. That's your Jannah, just those two things. How you are with Allah and how you are with everything else. That's it, your Jannah. Sounds nice and easy, isn't it? Wallahi, you've got to work on your heart to start with. You've got to cleanse yourself, take out the jealousy, take out the malice, take out the envy, take out the love. You know, everyone loves nice things. But when that love for worldly items becomes so high, you want it by hook or crook. And both hooking and crooking are not allowed. Right? It's not allowed. You can't crook. I mean, I want this. What am I going to do? I'm going to pinch it. When we were young, there was a saying, beg, borrow or steal. Do you know what? You can't get to steal. Come on. And begging is not dignified, especially when you are a person who's able Allah's given you capabilities. When you see a person begging and they're normal, big fit. Imagine, have you ever seen a guy like big muscles and from the gym and he's begging? I'd give him a slap. Well, actually I won't. He might slap me back, you know. <laughs> but my brothers and sisters, develop. let's develop ourselves. Many of us are lacking in character. We are Muslims. We are an embarrassment to Islam a lot of the times. We, our dealings are not honest. And then we're looking for happiness. Sometimes the way we talk to people full, full of swear words. I promise you we can eradicate that. We can do without it. It doesn't need to be there. You want a happy home? Use respectful terms. Talk to people with love, with care, with respect in your home. Listen to them. Help them through their problems. Your child might come to you and tell you the most absurd thing on earth. That's your child. That's your amana. You need to help the child. You need to have hope. You need to understand. It's easy for someone else to tell you, excommunicate the child, kick the child out of the home. And wallahi, when it happened to them, they didn't do that. They did the opposite. Why were we foolish to listen to someone else? It's my home. May Allah grant us ease.
You, we want happiness. We're, look, we're searching for contentment. I promise you, Islam has come with so much of ease. A lot of the people actually don't follow it. They think they do. That's why we say, don't judge a book by its cover. Sometimes you see people looking, mashallah, tabarakallah. They look like they're extremely pious. Subhanallah. And then Allah tests everyone with different types of tests. When Allah tests you with certain tests, it's on your level. You're going to need to ask yourself, you know what? This is a test from Allah. I need to pass it. It doesn't mean because I look outwardly pious that suddenly I'm going to pass all my tests. Then shaitan attacks your heart by doing what? Messing it. Becoming dirty. You start belittling people. That's why when you see a person who's, who's really close to Allah, one of, the, one of the clearest signs of the closeness to Allah is that your heart is softened. You feel mercy towards others. That's from the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa Oh. Guys, this is amazing. Like my eyes, but this is good. Like I, I love the way he started. Like first connection supposed to have is between you and God, and you are paying a little price for you to pray to God. And this is something I, I, I do every day, guys. Like I pray to God every day. I, I can't even count how many times. But I pray. I pray I, more than three times a day I pray. So I feel I've gotten that communication with God and the character. Like for you to be your character is something that is very, very I won't say it's hard. It's easy. It's very easy actually. And you are supposed to be able to be disciplined. And this the discipline part is where is kind of easy because everything is easy. God has given us the strength. Like it said that God won't give you a problem you can't solve. So everything is easy, guys. So I love the way he said it. And if you're keeping Miley's jealousy, you won't go far. Like, that's just it. You have to wish good for your brother for you to receive good in return. Like, he's the law of the universe. You're supposed to have this positive energy for you to attract positive things to yourself. And this is something that I am trying to do. I, I can see improvement in myself, my character, and in my life, guys. And this is something that I believe it's in the book. Like, you just need to read, understand, and, like, bring it out there. Like, you need to make sure your life is a living example for people. But I feel if you're if you good, you're living a good life, you're worshipping God, and people see you, like, it is... They want to emulate you. Like, they want to... What's giving you this space? And I can tell you, like, for a while, like, I was feeling stressed. I can tell you I was feeling stressed. School was stressing my life, I can tell you. And I was feeling kind of... I was just feeling strange. And I watched the video, and it was, like, the purpose of life. I, I can't remember who did that video, but... It actually changed my mindset and me, I always knew that my main purpose in life was to worship God, give him the praise he deserved, but I felt I needed a reminder, something to remind me that, bro, this is why you were here, to worship God. So everything supposed to come second. God's supposed to be your first priority and I feel that changed my mindset and that helped me. And I know my videos have been helping people too. Because we're checking this out and we're seeing reasons why we are supposed to be doing things. Because we are humans, we are prone to forget. And different things happen, guys. Right? Different news comes out. Different life challenges. And us trying to remember things, like remember things we already know, is actually beautiful. Actually help us go to that next level we need to attain. And I feel... If we keep on checking amazing videos like this, making us build our faith up, because the main purpose of us being here, is, this year is a test, like, is a test. So, there comes a time you have to go, go back to the creator, and it's crazy how people forget you so soon. Like, it's crazy. Meeting, I lost my grandma lately, and I was thinking about it, like, I cried that day. I think I didn't post for two days, but my heart was broken. The only woman I think 
loved me with her heart died and it 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 was crazy and me seeing the, the fact that people if you die what you left with your legacy things you did not the cards you had like the impact you left on people's life is what they'll remember you for no one remember you for like you're rich or you're not like if you help people like you you are rich and so so people will be like you're rich like i don't think people will actually cry for you i don't think people will actually like wish you well even if you're dead like but i felt that kind of heartbreak and i kind of begin to think like if i die today like what have i actually done like what life have i imparted like people don't care about me the next day it's it's a crazy thing, guys. And I feel this life feel to do it to the fullest. Do things that you know please you and pleases God. Like if you can please God and you want to do it, just do it, God. Because this life is short. Like I can tell you, this life is really, really short. I'm supposed to do things that will make us happy because we deserve to be happy. God, I don't to like just got my child. I took longer this. I don't know. But I'll see you next time, guys. First.